Imagine you walking into the gym, you walking into the Drew League, you're probably a personal trainer, you're probably a basketball player overseas, you probably have a day job that you love, and you see motherfucking LeBron James coming to your gym. What would you do? LeBron James showing up to the Drew League is way bigger than what you think. Alright y'all, I am the coach for the day and today we will be facing LeBron James. Now, for this specific matchup, you will... Use this bottle. You will use that bottle to hit this nigga in his head. Give me the bottle. Give me the bottle. I did not expect LeBron James to be here. Oh, nigga's not that good. But you know what he can't do? He can't fight. We do not condone any violence on this channel. This was purely a joke. It's more to basketball than the National Basketball Association. And what I mean by that is just because the NBA has the highest quality of skill, highest display of the sport at its peak as an art form does not mean it's the end all be all of basketball. It's missing the, the essence, the ambiance, the foundation and the atmosphere of what basketball used to be and what basketball can get back to with this move by LeBron James. There's no narratives. Kobe Bryant couldn't fill or Michael Jordan fill LeBron's shoes. The impact that he's had with different teammates. There's no irritating privileged ass fans cussing out NBA players just because they don't like the player. It wasn't meant to be for Russell Westbrook. On his way out. Everybody's there for one thing, to hoop. Nobody's really caring about what team wins. They just want to see each possession be exciting. There's no plays being run. There's no zone being played. There's no 17,000 pick and rolls in different situations. Anybody and everybody can take their man off the dribble if, if they choose to. It's every type of shot is acceptable. You can do a mid-range shot. You can do a post fadeaway. You can do a layup, a post hook, a Kareem Scott hook, a three-point shot from the logo. You can do every single thing that you want in amateur basketball as long as you got that bag with you. And amateur basketball in general gave us some classic moments. We got Kobe versus Harden with Kobe hitting the game winning shot. We got LeBron versus Durant, where LeBron and Durant was really going at it in a way where you really can't really see it in the NBA game. You got Kevin Durant at Rucker Park looking like Black Jesus himself. Amateur basketball just allows you to be more engaged as a fan. You got niggas touching Kevin Durant. This would never happen in Adam Silver's NBA. Taking shots that he would never take. You got niggas storming the court after every bucket. I don't care about no referee. This is amazing. This is peak entertainment. I don't care what type of playoff game that Kevin Durant plays in. This would never happen. And this is not even his hometown. You got DeRozan throwing a ball at Marvin Bagley. Marvin Bagley at the time is the number one high school player in the nation. You cannot do that in any other league. It's actually pushed in the Drew League. It's actually pushed in Rucker Park. So with all this being said, LeBron did something that he really didn't have to do, but he wanted to do off the sake of being a basketball legend. First of all, the motherfucker that got Bron, you will tell your grandchildren, great grandchildren, I ain't gonna lie, if I did this to LeBron, can't nobody like tell me who the fuck I am. I don't care if you better than me. Nigga, did you cross Bron? LeBron James at this age did not have to do this. He is 37 years of age. Real talk, you should have saved your body for the Lakers season, but I'm gonna let it slide because you did it for the kids. And this is the only time where we can say LeBron James is playing against plumbers and electricians. First of all, this bald man be getting cooked all damn game. Personally, that wouldn't be me. Now look at this fan. He is perplexed how LeBron is doing these people right now. Look at him. This is what the fandom of amateur basketball is about. And this sparked the idea. Adam Silver wants mid-season tournaments. Nobody in the NBA community wants this because it makes no sense. Because 81 games as a season is a lot of work. You cannot expect the best players in, the, in this world to play for a mid-season tournament where they win prize money. The only way where I see the fan, me, 
wanted to watch this and the player wanted to play in this is something like amateur basketball. What I mean by this, there would be no amateurs on the floor. This would be going on versus other NBA players. Neutral site with no home fans, no away fans, just niggas loving basketball, the essence of basketball, because it's offering something new. They can go to the Drew League, they can go to different countries, they can go to Panama, they can go to goddamn Spain, Mexico, anywhere they can, and supply this with the inner city community. Let these games be in the inner city, or at least around it, so you have people who look like us can afford the games. I mean, I'm from Detroit. Let an NBA game happen in Joe D's for the midseason tournament. This will increase the brand as itself and it will increase the watchability because I'm not just seeing Trey Young. I'm not just seeing Devin Booker. I'm not just seeing Zion Williamson on TV. I'm seeing him in my backyard. I love this player. Now, I want to follow this player. This is not my idea at all. I got this from Twitter. Credit for this, even though I wish I fucking started this beforehand. Um, And this is bringing back the essence of true hoop before the narratives, before Twitter used to get on your ass after having a bad game in the playoffs. That'd be all for this video, man. Make sure you like and subscribe, man. I'm out, man. Peace.